Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. I got a few interesting comments from my previous video and I'd like to share some thoughts with you because I, I think I might not explain things so well because that was an impromptu video. First, somebody commented about the hot water and rue shui. This is a really fun, I thought, uh, to share with you a, a cultural observation that I have been experienced uh, here. And uh, maybe you guys can help me out. So, rue shui in Chinese is literally translated as hot water. And it actually took me many years to realize that hot water and rue shui are not a misalign. I like to use the word misalign. They're not really the same thing. Uh, for us, we uh, hot water is a kind of a positive, positive, like neutral positive kind of implication. If the temperature is overly hot, we have the word tongue, which is uh, kind of like a, a negative. W say we wouldn't say watch out. It's re shui. Like imagine on a Starbucks cup or McDonald's a coffee cup, we don't use the word re, we use tongue, which means you gotta watch out. But in English, uh, it's just hot. So almost feel like there is a, a hot is a slightly negative, like too much. So I asked Phil, do you have a word like that? Or can I use say a scorching? But he says like, a, he says he feels like uh, the scorching is not a word to use to describe liquid. It's more like a fire is scorching hot, but water is not really scorching level. So um, I don't know if there a a, a a a good word to describe that uh, <laughs> hot, unpleasant, overly hot. Uh, I actually also noticed the same thing with uh, when I when we talk about cold water. Like a lot of times we say, "Hey, don't have cold waters and stuff." I actually had a conversation with a friend, and she said, "Oh, we don't like cold. We don't. I don't drink cold either and stuff." And one day I noticed her having like drinks from the fridge, and according to her, it's not cold because it's above zero degree. Um, it could be personal, totally. Everybody have different, like, you know, small culture, family cultures and habit of using words for sure. But what about you? <laughs> like, uh, the cold water, does the, like, have you noticed that when you say, if you're Chinese talking to, you know, English speakers, or if you're English speakers, have you noticed similar little, little different, almost intangible, a little bit hard to describe, but you know, the concept difference when we talk about the hot water, cold water kind of thing. Another comment I got is uh, somebody says, duh, uh, you know, some of us are smart enough to know not to chug hot water or something like that. Great. It's great to be smart, but uh, I, my intention, I didn't uh, wanted to imply smart or dumb. It's just something to watch out for. And especially, I, I think because I didn't uh, didn't fully, I feel like I didn't fully do a good job to explain this. So sometimes when we taste the tea and feel the temperature, the, uh, the tea temperature in uh, our mouths, we feel it was okay, but it's actually above the threshold. Uh, that's why I purposely put on the exact temperature, you know, over 65, 60, like over a certain threshold is pretty much, it's just a bad for your uh, body. So we actually at home, we did a little uh, experiment to put a 60 uh, degree water and we fill that with our finger and have a try to have a little sip and when what we both Phil and I notice is our fingers are much more sensitive well to our mouth yes it's pretty hot but I I didn't know it was hitting the threshold uh, so at some point we will have a thermometers if you really care about this part it's not bad to really uh, you know do a little bit 
a strict measurement and know how this temperature feels and be sure to be below the threshold. Another thing is as we age, everybody that, you know, aging, <laughs> we get less sensitive. And if, if I have like diabetes or other kind of diseases that could uh, damage the nerve system, we will be even less sensitive when the actual temperature is high and we felt like it was totally okay. Um, that's why I feel like it's always, uh, again, if this is something you care, it's always uh, uh, great to really have the temperature measured, set a baseline, feel that with our hand and feel that with our mouth. And I guess that's another reason I I never like to double wall uh, tasting cup because for tasting cups I really rely on my hand to feel all the temperatures and prevent myself from burning. While the double wall cups are really I I never feel my hand burn, so the burn always happens first on my mouth. Well, this is it for today's video. We're just uh, getting ready for Toronto Tea Festival. We're heading out tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, uh, having some food fest in Toronto and get to the festival. You're, if you're in Toronto, be sure to join us on Saturday and Sunday at Reference Library. Looking forward to see you. And if you're not there, see you next week.